currently second in the Grand Prix. We've also got our Grand Prix leader in the men's seniors tournament in Lachlan Oates. Could be a good battle at the front for those two then, potentially, in this race. Under starters orders now, ready for the final race of the day. Here we go. Oh, it looks like there may have been a fall at the start there as well. I hope he's okay. Um, everyone looks to have got away okay, so I think he's he's managed to get back up again. And uh, that really is a very big uh, crowd of runners there. It's really it must be really important to uh, get to the front there because it's it'd be quite difficult to pass all those runners. Yeah, definitely. Um, it looks like cause I think they're going to go around to the right here as well. Um, so they're all going to need to concertina really in or squash in together as they head around this first bend um, and then do a very small lap here before heading out for their their three big laps, uh, the same as the women. So 10k again for these guys. Uh, Brilliant huh? views though at the moment. Brilliant views we're seeing. Not sure the exact amount of uh, entries in this race, but it's it's definitely in the hundreds. You're looking at good three, four hundred potentially in this race. And with this, the uh, one but last event in the Grand Prix. Points, uh, individual points, really matter in this. With uh, looking back at last year's Grand Prix, Lachlan Oates won it, and uh, it was ten points clear of Chris Jones. And with both athletes running in this. It's really going to have a big impact on the overall Grand Prix standings. Brilliant view here. So you can see how small this first little loop is. Um, can almost it's almost like a snake. Uh, the head the head of the snake almost touching the tail here because they'll all be stretched out a little bit. So hopefully there won't be a sort of the leaders looking to get through the the back early on. But um, they're all heading round now. So I think. Still waiting to see uh, the uh, the front runners. We're gonna keep an eye out for Oates and Jones. And uh, last year's winner, Callum Hawkins, isn't actually running this year, so it's going to be down to possibly Jones, or Oates, or another athlete to take that gold medal. Uh, in terms of the uh, the club competition, Central AC senior men made it seven wins in a row in terms of team goals in the men's race last year with uh, Shettleston coming in at second and Camberslag at third so uh, Central are very dominant but uh, no individual dominance so far Dan no no um, got a good five six athletes here at the front and um, again the pace looks very strong early on as we head head down uh, towards the wooded area once they've gone past the house but um yeah it's it's nice to see as well cuz it doesn't look like there's going to be a team dominance here as such either because you've got athletes from all different clubs in there in the mix ah it looks like there's a couple from central ac though as well so maybe <laughs> maybe their uh, their team title won't quite be under threat but we we shall see as the race develops and again the uh, cash bonus is the is the same for the men's senior as it is for the women's senior teams so that's going to be another thing driving them through uh, through this race Still waiting to see where the uh, or who the front runners are at the moment. It's it's just hard at the moment to p pick up all the vast number mm. of uh, competitors this year in the men's senior competition. Yeah, I mean from this shot you can you can really appreciate the course layout, and you can even see the two different terrains that you you go on. You've got the sort of the gravel up the top there on the right hand side, and then. Uh, as you approach the wooded area it's turning into the grass again and you've also got the lake in the on the bottom right there so it's it's a nice uh, variation in the course really early on and over such a short distance as well so it's uh, it's, it's nice to see and um, they're heading into the wooded area now 
looking a little later in the afternoon now with those shadows from the the, uh, the trees. Trying to see on the first lap of this men's senior race for the Scottish Championship title. Big race and uh, the big stars are out. No Hawkins this year, but uh, Jones and Oates are there somewhere. In amongst everybody at the moment, it's uh, they're out on the golf course now. I think this is uh, still the first big, big lap they do. They miss out this back left bit here, but um, the three big laps will certainly uh, take their toll anyway. I think last year part of the course came in front of this bridge down just at the bottom of the screen there but um, the course organisers have obviously decided to change it up slightly this year. This is the first time we get to see the, uh, the front runners. You can see there 106 is uh, Christian Jones in the blue and white trekkie top. Just to remind you he came second last year. With no Hawkins this year he'll be a uh, aiming for that gold medal spot. For the Welsh viewers out there, he is a Welshman, but uh, he does live and work in Scotland. And uh, whatever nationality you are, I think this race will mean an awful lot to you. So it looks like they're coming up to the front of the house here at the the, towards the end of the first lap now and, and Oates is still in there uh, with with Christian Jones as well so they're both the Grand Prix leaders or the, the top two in the Grand Prix are still looking to pick up more points today and uh, Andy Douglas is also in the mix the front end of that pack he's uh, at the moment fifth in the Grand Prix so a win for him here could really set up that last event in Loughborough on Saturday, 10th of March, to, to be a cracker. So this looks like the uh, the start of the second big lap now. Um, we've still got the front front few there, so you've still got uh, Christian Jones in the lead, uh, closely followed by. The Fife athlete and the uh, Lacta notes of Shettleston Harriers. <laughs> Looks like these four have pulled away though, uh, though now, so. Uh, and uh, again, two athletes. Oh, gone a, a little wide there potentially, yeah, but um, they've managed to navigate their way through. It is a, quite a tight corner there coming from such a downhill, and again another slip. Mm, so as, we, as we said at the start of this, uh, this coverage, that uh, in the latter, the latter races, there would be a few slips, a few spills. We are seeing it here. The uh, it, it is getting much muddy, more muddy. Another another one going off there. So as it stands, we have Christian Jones in the lead there. One o six. We've got Oates and Douglas somewhere behind him. But there's still time to go here in this men's senior event. Still at least one lap left, I think. So um, I think that's Alistair Hay there from Central AC as well in, fi in fifth place. So they're still, he's going to try and help them to their eighth team title in a row.
still a decent crowd on this golf course as well, uh, considering it's a part that's not really close to the start finish line. You're still getting quite a few people cheering them on out in the distant parts of the course, which is, is always nice to spur the athletes on. It almost seems as if Jones has got two watches on there on his uh, left arm. Really wants to keep track of time. Yeah, yeah, with the Some ones position, a, maybe. Uh, yeah, with the ones a, uh, a heart rate monitor, perhaps. I'm not sure, or if, if uh, yeah, he's maybe he's timing his laps, or I'm not sure. But um, he's, he's he's definitely taken the race to everyone here, and he's uh, beginning to lap athletes now as well. Looks like Lackland Oates of uh, Shettleston Harriers is uh, headed into second place now and starting to pull away. You've still got the, f uh, the five athlete there and uh, Andy Douglas as well, still battling it out for the bronze medal position, so that'll be a good battle through to the end. Alistair Hayes still in fifth place from Central AC. We're going to head into the wooded area for the final time. Athletes here still competing for uh, points for the Grand Prix. There's another central AC athlete there. So they're looking to try and pick up that team gold again. Looking in good shape to do that at the moment, potentially. I guess they know that, that even though, even if they're not competing for medals, they're still competing for their club. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They'll... they'll They'll, they'll know their their history uh, with this senior men's event, especially sent the central athletes, so they'll try everything they can to try and get as high up and give their team the best chance of taking the gold. Looks like uh, Andy Douglas now has um, taken up the third place position for himself. Ali, Alistair Hay coming through again for Central AC. Just coming through into the final turn now, and I think it's I think he knows he's got the win as well. It's uh, I think Christian Jones knows he's he's got this title wrapped up. And he's, he can see the finish in sight now as well. And he is far out in front now. He's lapped a few people. He's got a big smile on his face. Probably the biggest smile we've seen so far. Yep. Thumbs up from Jones there. He's giving everyone the thumbs up now. As Lachlan Oates appears in the background as well, looks like he's going to take the silver medal. We've got the tape out, coming into the finish, arms aloft. Christian Jones, tongue out. He knows he is the men's senior Scottish national champion for 2018. And uh, congratulations to him. Lachlan Oates almost taken out uh, someone who wants to take a photograph there, but... Um, He's, he's stayed strong all the way through and he's going to come through to take silver here. So both Jones and Oates have taken their medals from last year and upgraded. And Andy Douglas looks like he's going to take the bronze medal for him for Clyde AC. Great run from him as well. The five AC athlete battled all the way through. Was in the bronze medal position for a little while but just couldn't quite hold it all the way to the end. And Alistair Hay coming in here is the fifth place athlete, uh, first for Central AC, looking to try and take them to their eighth title. And after Christian Jones' disappointment uh, last year in uh, only getting silver behind Hawkins, he, uh, he's now got what he came here for. He's got that gold, gold medal, and uh, he's got the title of uh, senior men's champion. And there's the second central AC athlete clapping his way across the line, thinking that they, they may well take the eighth, their eighth team title in a row. And here we are for the final time. With Andy Douglas taking the bronze medal for Inverclyde AC. Next up, Slackler notes, and lucky for him not to get the gold here, and uh, he's running for Shettles and Harriers. But with the man with the big smile on his face, the gold medal winner, Christian Jones, Dundee Hawk.